Yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and we are out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. I got my niece, Yaya, my brother, Brito Mosgrande. I got the Captain Tom from Blind Date Charters, and I got my great bro, Austin, running the camera. We're out here looking for red grouper. And before I get started, I want to say hello to everybody in India. I have been getting so many comments, not just like normal comments, I mean like amazing comments from people in India. And they said, will you please do something in India? Well, it's a long way to go. And with COVID, everything, travel is restricted. So I can't go to India right now. But what I will do, I'm gonna take this here three-pronged pole spear. This is how I use it. It's got a rubber band on the back. <laughs> well, guess what? <laughs> I'm not gonna use a three-pronged pole spear because my band just broke. And the miracle of editing. Like I said, I'm gonna be using a spear gun. This is my Koa spear gun. And uh, it's got a slip tip on the top. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna try to spear a grouper, a red grouper, one of my favorite grouper to eat. And whenever I get done, if we get one, we're gonna go back to the house, we're gonna clean it whole, and we're gonna make an authentic Indian seafood dish. And by that, I wanna say thank you to everybody in India, and around the world for your love and support of Deer Meat for Dinner. Whatever I see, you're gonna see.
tell you guys, I went down there, I was freezing my patootie off. I got one grouper right off the bat, and then Lauren actually like shot one that was in the hole, and it took me a long time to get him out of that hole. Man, I was trying everything I could, but I finally got him. And I got a lobster. And Aubrey got a giant lobster. Everybody in India, I went down, I got it done. We've been out here in the Gulf of Mexico with blind date charters with old Captain Tom here having an absolute blast. We've caught African pompano, mangrove snapper, lobster, and now red grouper. Hey, that's what dreams are made of. I cannot wait to go home and cook something to make all of y'all proud. There you go, that's the fruits of our labor. Now, I know it looks bad, but I had to cut him to get a hold of him. That's that red grouper, beautiful fish. And you know what, we're gonna cook him whole, so I don't care if he's a little cut up. That's the one I got. Oh, nice fish. Huh? Big old belly. Yeah. And it appears that he was caught before and vented, yeah. yeah, let go. So this right here is an indication that venting works. That's where someone cut him to release the air out of his belly, he was able to go down. And as you can see now, he's well over 20 inches long. Good deal. I got a nice bug. Yeah. Got a couple of lobsters. Dude, we rocked it. We came out here today and we filmed three shows in one day. That's a testament to this guy, the Gulf of Mexico, and the entire fisheries management program here in Florida. It's incredible the life that lives out here. My brother Aubrey, he owns an app with his partner, Rick Blaylock, called Fish Rules. That app knows where you are and it will give you all the applicable rules. Like Aubrey, what's the rule on Red Grouper? It's 20 inches out here. The bag limit's two um, for Red a Red Grouper. grouper. There you go. So if you don't have Aubrey hanging out with you, just check fish rules. You will know the rules. And the rules are always changing, so it's a pain in the neck. But uh, we're in compliance and we're heading to the house. We'll see you soon. Snap, crackle, pop, everybody. We are back in the kitchen for round number three. Look at that beautiful red grouper. And we're ready to clean them. But first, I wanna say hello to everybody in India. Now, the cool thing about this is that I'm gonna have the opportunity to possibly go to India. So here's what I wanna know from you. Where in India are you watching? And where do you think I should visit? Like, just start, write down some places that you think we should visit and things that we should do. And then if you are somebody from India and you're reading the comments and you go, oh, that's a great idea, hit the like button. And then what's gonna happen? I will see certain things getting a lot of likes and I will know, well, that's somewhere that I've got to go. And uh, for now, it's time to make a traditional, authentic Indian dish. Now, if I'm doing a good job, let me know. If I'm doing a bad job, let me know, but I'm gonna do my best. First and foremost, we're gonna start off cleaning this rascal. You can come down here and start wherever you want, but they have very durable, thick skin because they live their life in and around the rocks. Like this fish, that hole he was living in, that's like we call it a, a cheese cloth or a cheesy rock. It's just holes down in the limestone. And uh, so they have very thick, durable skin to deal with that area that they live. Good thing is, there's millions of them. We have a huge population of grouper here in South Florida. All you do is take your knife and let it run right along that skin. See that? Take the skin off, leave the meat behind, and then there you go. I'm so interested in India, like second most populated country in the world. They love seafood and uh, you love deer meat for dinner. So it's like, why would I not go visit? But it just makes so much sense. Now, wanna make sure we rinse our fish off. Uh, just like that. Let them drip dry for a second and then we wanna dry them off. 
always want to do this recipe with dry fish. If it's wet, nothing's going to stick to it. Now, let's make our like tandoori paste. We're going to start off with yogurt. That's about four tablespoons, I guess. Uh, don't look for me for recipe. I'm actually just making something by feel here. That's some lemon juice. We're actually using Meyer lemon. That is garlic paste and ginger paste. I want to get that right in there. Now, here we go. This is coriander, red pepper, cumin, masala, and black pepper. We'll just throw all them right in there. And we want to make this into a paste. Incorporate all of our seasonings. And that's what you're looking for. That's the perfect color, perfect consistency, full of love. It's a love potion, y'all. Hey, it's an Indian love potion. This is very important. We're going to take some Himalayan pink salt and just salt our fish. I'm going to spray that with a little nonstick. Now, let's doctor it up. We're going to take some of our fish and just um, put it right on there. Use the back of a spoon and sort of just, you know, do your best. Look how good that looks. And we're going to do that on both sides. Yeah, this is a very traditional, authentic Indian dish, but hey. I don't think you have to be from India to like this. It's going to be nice. Wacky. Check that out. It's got a very tribal, herby, earthy, epic flavor to it. Oh, and here comes my second B camera man or camera girl. Did, hey, how many of you guys got to watch the snapper video and saw her filming? <laughs> Hi. And now we're going to take a couple pieces of Meyer lemon and we're just going to drizzle it right on top there. I don't think this is totally necessary, but it sounds good. All right, you guys. We've got the oven set at 425 degrees. We're going to let it bake for 10 minutes and see what she looks like. Our Punjabi tandoori is coming straight at you. Here's the funny thing, I have no, that's hot, earthly idea what this is going to taste like. Yeah. It's going to be really hot if you try to eat it right at this second. Are you going to say Grace or you want me to? I'll say it. Okay. Dear Lord, thanks for this day for food and food with single ones. Please let the girl have an accent that I had both of the boys have had a bad accent. Jesus name, amen. 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 Well, thank you very much. How? Wh what makes you think of that lady all the time? Why do you always think of her? I don't know. You don't know? No. So, I met you guys on the side of the road and sh she prays for you every single day. Like, for fact, guaranteed, you're getting prayed for by Aria every single day. <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna taste this first. Here's the funny thing, when we were kids, Punjab was like one of our nicknames. We'd call someone, hey Punjab! This is Punjabi Tandoori. Oh, it's not spicy at all. It's not spicy at all. It's got a super good flavor. I cannot, I can't describe the flavor though. It's hot. It smells like um, Old Bay that you put on crabs. It smells like crabs is Old Bay. It tastes like curry. It tastes. There's a little kick to it. <laughs> Is it good? Does it taste good? Yeah, but I feel a spice. I don't like spice. But it's good. I'll tell you this. It's better than what I thought. And if this, I don't know. Like, I, I got this vid. I got this recipe off of YouTube. Just looking around. This video was made like six years ago and the guy who was making the videos doesn't make videos anymore. But I liked it and so I tried it. 
and it came out better than I was expecting. If you think I did a good job and made a good representation, please let me know. Because I like it so much, that makes me want to go to India. So this is going to be an outlandish, crazy number. But I promise you, if I can get 100,000 likes, we're planning a trip to India. I have no idea where. I, I don't know. I'm going. But 100,000 likes and we're coming to India. That's all we got. This is good. Hey, I don't care where you're from. Worldwide. This is delicious. All right. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Awesome. What do you think, honey? It tastes just like blue crab lump meat that has Old Bay in it. Like, that's, that's all I'm tasting right now. Wow. It's great. Really hey, good. that's all we got for you tonight. Take care. God bless. And we yeah. are... Join.